Now, you may have heard this in other YouTubers' videos, and I know it sounds cheesy and kind of cliché, and it's hard to get behind, but I'm going to flesh it out and try to give you some solid evidence that you can apply to your life and test so that you can see that it does work for you. And then you'll start to give yourself more permission to have more magic in your life in all areas, not just in astral traveling. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to another astral traveling video. I'm Nathan, if you happen to be new here, and I make videos on YouTube about metaphysics, manifestation, happiness, and all topics that have to do with spiritual awareness. So right now, um, I'm on a huge astral traveling wave of videos and experiences in my life. So this video, I'm gonna do my absolute best to flesh out for you guys how to actually astral travel. But we're gonna go ahead and call this video part one because I don't wanna put too much info in this video to make it like confusing and overwhelming. So this video is gonna be how to actually get into the astral realm. And then part two is gonna be how to astral travel as in fleshing out the energy behind it a little bit more and how you can actually astral travel in the astral realm. Like once you're there, what do you do? You know, how do you astral travel once you're astral traveling? <laughs> so a whole other conversation there. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So astral traveling. First thing we're going to do is share a very practical method and then start dissecting it a little bit more um, to make it as beneficial as possible for you. So the first thing that you want to realize is that astral traveling, what it is, a very quick explanation. I know many of you have heard me say this, so, you know, I'll just be real quick about it. <laughs> Astral traveling is, to me, I explain it as when your energy body steps out of and rolls out of your physical body and is able to explore around this dimension all around us on planet Earth the same way that it always is, but in a much lighter way and free from your body. So you can fly around, you can go all over the place, do all kinds of stuff. I've got a video tagged below talking about um, very in depth what is astral travel and lucid dreaming and the differences and how you can actually tap into these things. So that's tagged below for you if that sounds interesting to you. Now, here's the method that I want to go ahead and explain that has worked the best for me. The best way to astral travel is to attempt it for one of the first times when your mind is very active and your body's very tired. Um, now, I recently talked about this a little bit in my experience where I shared how I astral traveled four nights in a row, um, but I wanna just tap into a little bit more here because one of my friends watched that video and let me know that they were able to achieve this state I'm about to share with you, but weren't able to do the next part. So thanks for letting me know that. Um, we're going to talk about that now. So what you want to do is basically put yourself in an uncomfortable position while you're laying down. Now, the reason for this is because when you're in an uncomfortable position, your mind is going to constantly be projecting awareness as to how you're uncomfortable. Um, now, a great way we can look at this is that part of your brain is going to be staying awake and not really digging the position that you're in, right? <laughs> So your, your body's gonna, your, your mind's gonna be staying awake, but your body will be so exhausted if you do this at the right time where you're thinking a lot and you've got a lot of anxious energy and your body's just ready to go to bed, this is the best time. So get yourself in an uncomfortable position, maybe like twist yourself, have your neck a little bit tweaked like this. Um, and what's gonna end up happening is you're gonna feel uncomfortable and like you want to move and adjust to a more comfortable position, right? So what you're gonna do is don't move. Stay in the uncomfortable position. And a great way that you can do this to help tap into the energy even more is to detach, right? You wanna detach from yourself. So just kind of just zoom out. And instead of perceiving yourself through the eyes of I'm the person who's uncomfortable and needs to adjust right now, instead, pretend like you're watching a movie. You're watching a movie where the character in the movie is uncomfortable, but it's not you right? This detachment is going to help to achieve this state of energy in a very, very awesome way. Um, so go ahead and detach, right? Now, what's eventually going to happen is your mind, which is still awake and kind of consciously, hold on a sec, got to help pick my dog up this little ledge here. <laughs> okay, here we go. Moving forwards. <laughs> 
your, your mind, which is still consciously awake and kind of aware of the uncomfortableness, and now you're detached watching yourself being uncomfortable, what's gonna happen is your body's gonna kind of go into this strange state, and your mind is gonna enter this state that a lot of people refer to as the theta state, right? Um, scientifically, though, it doesn't really matter using these words. It's not important to know about these kinds of things. What is important is that your body's going to enter what people call sleep paralysis. Now, this is where you're basically going to all of a sudden be so detached from your body that you literally can't move. It's a very interesting experience. Many people experience lots of fear during this. Don't be afraid. Sleep paralysis is a normal phenomenon that happens to a lot of people. I read a statistic. It happens to most people at least one time in their, in their life, right? You're going to be awake. Your body's going to feel paralyzed. And this is the key to this method of astral travel, okay? This is where I stopped explaining it in my most recent video about the astral traveling four nights in a row, and I think I confused some people. So apologies for that, but thanks for letting me know in the comments so I could emphasize a little bit better here. <laughs> Once you're in this sleep paralysis state, you will be watching yourself basically laying there, and you won't be able to move with your physical body, right? Now think about when you go and make a movement in your physical body, like raising your hand, right? What you're exercising here is intention, okay? So for example, this might sound strange, but I'm telling you, this is a really powerful energy that's going to help you to do this tonight. Do it with me. Think to yourself, I want to raise my hand and feel into that vibe, okay? I want to raise my hand. This is desire. Now, right now, you desire to astral travel. Obviously, or you wouldn't be watching this video. <laughs> you desire to have an astral traveling experience. Now, this energy doesn't do anything. It's just the desire, right? Now, go ahead with me and raise your hand. Now, do it again. Raise your hand. Feel that energy. It's not the action of doing it. It's the energy of desire and action in unity, right? It's, I'm raising my hand. It's no longer, I want to raise my hand. It's just, I am raising my hand. Now, I'm not trying to confuse you or be like super out there and esoteric with this example. But the thing is, is that that's the energy. This is how you roll out of your body. Once you have entered the sleep paralysis state, you will still have your awareness. Now, what you might be thinking is, okay, I've achieved what Nathan discussed. I've achieved the sleep paralysis state. Now, now I need to, I want to astral travel, right? I need to astral travel. I need to roll out of my body, right? But this is not going to do anything. This desire, this want is actually going to be creating an excess energy that's pushing you further and further away from the experience of actually being able to roll out of your body. So all you want to do, it's very simple. Don't think about rolling out of your body. Don't want to roll out of your body. Don't want to astral travel. Just do it. Put your hand in the air. It's very simple. Just do it. Now your body, which is in a paralyzed state, when you exercise this intention of rolling out of your body, so this is what you want to do, okay? When you're in the sleep paralysis state, start rocking. This energy of like if you were laying down on the ground and you're kind of rocking back and forth like this, start rocking. Now what's gonna happen is your physical body's not gonna move and you'll notice that, but don't fixate on it. Again, remain in this detached, I'm just watching the person laying here. I'm not the person laying here, I'm watching them. And as the watcher, start rocking. Rock yourself as the watcher, okay? Now what's gonna happen when you do this energy of you're exercising intention, you're intending to astral travel and roll out of your body. You don't want to, you intend to, okay? Huge distinction in energy here. If anybody's confused about this, you can let me know below and I'll do my best to come through these comments and explain a little bit better. And I know I got a lot of awesome friends here who will probably respond and, and share some advice too. Um, so always keep that in mind. The community here is really great at helping each other out, so. Um, this being said, <laughs> you're going to just rock out of your body, intend to, and then do it. Now, what's going to happen is for many of us, when we rock out of our body, suddenly you're going to be outside of it and you'll see yourself there. 
Now, what ends up happening is people get extremely, extremely excited, or all of a sudden they feel so much liberation and freedom slash like fear, and they don't know what to do. And then all of a sudden you start thinking, right? Now, when you start doing this and you start getting really excited energetically and simultaneously thinking a bunch about, oh my gosh, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, you will get sucked back into your body and it will be the end of your experience. So how can you astral travel? Put yourself in a sleep paralysis state, roll out of your body, but here's the big thing. How can we astral travel? Just do it and do it in a completely neutral way. As soon as you exit your body and you're there, for many of us, you'll suddenly be outside your body looking over yourself. And I've also noticed for me and a few of my friends that have astral traveled, instead of instantly rocking and being outside their body, you'll immediately like teleport to somewhere that was like a childhood home for you. Now, here's the interesting thing. In your astral form, you kind of turn into like a little kid. Your energy is like a little kid. So it's easy to get really excited. And what ends up happening is like, for me, I always end up back at my parents' house or my grandparents' house, which is basically where I grew up. And it's like, I become this little kid energy again and I start resonating in situations and themes and stuff and exploring parts of the world that are from my childhood. Has this ever happened to you? And can you relate to this? I'm interested because this is a conversation we haven't really talked about yet but I do have a video tagged below for you guys of the top five weird things that happen astral traveling that nobody talks about and that you haven't heard anywhere else. I recommend checking out that video because that video has a transmission of energy in it and explains a lot of what it's like to astral travel that I really haven't heard anyone else talk about. And just by being and watching these videos and tapping into this energy, you're giving yourself more and more permission to step into the version of you that astral travels. Okay, now I realized I've just laid out a lot of information. So I'm going to quickly recap in a very simple way. And then I'm going to explain what to me is the most important part of this whole video on how to actually astral travel. It's not the method that you've likely heard from many other people. It's the energy behind it, why it works and how you can apply it immediately tonight. So stay tuned. A simple recap, lay down especially you're going to have the most success if you do it when you are in a state where your body's really tired and you want to go to sleep but your mind is anxious and moving a lot lay in an uncomfortable position do not move in the position detach and watch yourself being uncomfortable rather than associating with being the person who is uncomfortable eventually after approximately 20 or 30 minutes you will all of a sudden be in a state of sleep paralysis where you are essentially the observer watching yourself laying there but for some reason you've lost touch with the ability to move your physical body's limbs the next step is that you're going to rock back and forth as the observer rock back and forth keep rocking with your energy and then simply intend and do it just do it just roll out of your body don't focus on it someone who's doing it isn't thinking about, oh, how do I do this? Or, oh, okay, is this gonna work? You have absolute faith in your heart and your mind, and then you just do it. That's what intention is. That's what's gonna help this process to take place, okay? So now that you've rolled out of your body, the next step is to be completely neutral and don't get too excited and overthink the experience. Don't freak out, don't feed into any of these things, otherwise you'll be shot back to your body and your astral traveling experience will be extremely limited. Okay. So there you go, that's a very simple, simple explanation. I know a lot of you have heard this, you've heard me mentioning certain things throughout the video, so now we're gonna get into the real meat of this episode on astral traveling. But before I do that, if you like these astral traveling videos, go ahead and let me know below by liking the video, and if you have any questions or videos that you think would be helpful to you or anybody else that has to do with the topic of astral travel, please let me know below. Okay, <laughs> here we go, here's the energy, guys. How do you become someone who astral travels? Because right now, there's a good chance that you're watching this video because I know a lot of you, you already are astral traveling and you like watching these videos because it's good vibes and that's awesome, thanks. <laughs> but for you specifically, if you're really here because you haven't astral traveled and you want to, this is the first thing to be aware of. Go ahead and really take a look at yourself right now. Take a look at yourself and who you are in this moment. Right now, you are being someone who wants to astral travel. That's the energy of your reality right now. Now, you may have heard this in other YouTubers' videos, and I know it sounds cheesy and kind of cliche, 
and it's hard to get behind, but I'm gonna flesh it out and try to give you some solid evidence that you can apply to your life and test so that you can see that it does work for you. And then you'll start to give yourself more permission to have more magic in your life in all areas, not just in astral traveling. Right now, you are someone who wants to astral travel. When you want to astral travel, what's happening is that your mind is thinking about how you want it, and your heart is also yearning for it simultaneously. Now, when both your heart and mind are aligned, this is extremely powerful manifestation and it activates what's called outer intention. If you want to master this, this outer intention, and if you want to tap into more examples of how you can use this to change your life, I recommend checking out the astral travel video tagged below on how to make money astral traveling. Um, this is what this video is about a lot. And I really think that the energy in that video is extremely powerful. So what you're emphasizing to the universe is that I'm someone who wants to astral travel. And the universe unconditionally supports whatever you choose. There's all these choices on a higher level and a very practical level of you as the driver of your human vehicle right now, you are choosing to be someone who wants to astral travel, meaning you are not astral traveling already, right? You're emphasizing to the universe Astral traveling's over here, I want it. And what the universe says is, okay, you can choose to be that person and the universe will keep pushing it further and further away from you. So here's a little paradox. Obviously, I really appreciate that you're staying tuned with this series and watching the videos. I love hanging out with you guys. I love sharing this information. It's what's exciting to me. And I don't want to dissuade you from watching my videos because you still can. It's just the energy with which you are watching them that is important to note. Stop being someone who wants to do these things or wants to experience them because everything that you try that I share with you in these videos will actually push you further away from the experience because you're embodying the energetic frequency of someone who's trying, who wants it, right? Now this sounds very out there and it sounds kind of almost a little bit douchey to say. Um, at least at my, as me watching myself talking right now, I look at myself, I'm like, man, this guy's being pretty douchey right now. <laughs> I don't know why I feel that way about this conversation. It's, it's hard to explain. And I think that it's because when we start thinking that we are the ones who are in absolute control of reality and we are the ones who can change everything around us, this is putting a lot of importance on yourself to walk around thinking that you control the whole universe and every experience and everything's up to you and everything revolves around you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> There's so much energy there that I've noticed that when I start getting in that vibe, and this is relevant to this video, okay? I'm not just rambling. <laughs> well, I am, but a little bit. It's, it's, uh, it is relevant, okay? <laughs> When you embody this and you start believing that you are the boss of everything and everything has to do with you, the universe, which is very neutral, everything's very neutral. Nature's kind of all about balance, you know? When you start putting yourself on this pedestal of being God, the universe will come down and smack you and knock you down a few pegs. The best way to succeed in life with astral traveling or any other manifestation, for example, is to simply be neutral about it. It's not about you being so awesome or, oh, I can project anything and experience it. I can change my experience because it's not gonna work and it's hard to explain. So I'm just gonna say it as practically as I can and uh, hopefully um, you will be able to give yourself permission to just try this even in other areas of your life and see how it works for you. Don't try to change your experience to be able to astral travel. Instead, choose to astral travel. Don't change the fact, don't, you don't have to do anything to change yourself. You don't have to change yourself to be able to astral travel. You don't have to change yourself to be able to do anything. You don't have to change anything around you. All you do simply is walk into the room where you are someone who astral travels because that potential exists. Guess what? You would not be here watching this video or resonating or even know what astral travel was or ever even heard of it if it was not a possibility for your experience. So let this be the moment 
that you stop penetrating the universe with your energy saying, I want to astral travel and simply choose to do it. You don't need my help. You don't need any videos. You can continue watching content like this and it helps to connect to the frequency and give yourself more permission. And it's entertaining to a lot of people I know. So it's not that watching these things or looking up how to do things or how to make something happen in your life is gonna push it further away. Again, it's the energy of who you are while you're watching and consuming this information. So just like we launch into the astral realm by detaching and watching ourselves being uncomfortable rather than associating with the person who's uncomfortable, do the same thing right now. Do it with me. We're gonna go ahead and detach and just take a good look at ourselves not through the eyes of ourselves, these are my hands and I'm looking through my eyes, but a bird's eye perspective where you have no relation to yourself at all. Pretend you're somebody else and you're just evaluating them, not judging, evaluating in a neutral way. Who are you watching this video? How do you feel about yourself? If you don't feel like you already are astral traveling, if you don't feel like this is already your experience, if you don't feel like the information that I'm sharing with you is something that you already know deep within yourself and you're just watching this for fun, right? Then this is highly likely that you'll continue to push yourself further and further away from this experience. And again, I realize this sounds out there, but go ahead and test it in your life. I've got another video tagged below if this conversation seems relevant to you and something you'd be interested to connect with a little bit more, to associate with, not to push yourself away from, but to associate with, I recommend checking out my video tag below on how astral traveling and lucid dreaming literally is the truth of how reality is. Did you know that you can literally live your waking life the same way as you do in a lucid dream? In a dream, you have no control over things. You're simply just going along with whatever story's been presented to you and reacting to things and acting in the story, believing that you're the role. In a lucid dream, guess what? The difference is that you wake up, realize you're dreaming, and suddenly you have more control that you can exercise, right? Um, anyways, I don't want to get into that because I made a whole video about it. If you want to wake up in the dream of life, if you want to have the freedom in real life that you do in astral travel, then check out that video below. Um, it's one of my favorites that I made right now. So I have a lot more that I want to say. Um, I hope that this video was helpful to you. It's a lot more simple than we might experience it the first time we roll out of your body. And I have a feeling that after watching this video, you're going to start tapping into more of the energy of what it's like to be someone who's astral traveling. You want to know what it's like? Pretend you're me. I'm someone who's astral traveling literally multiple times a night. Even I'm able to do it during the day just in a meditation position now. My friend literally did it just sitting in his chair while he was watching my video. You don't have to be laying down. You don't have to do the method I shared. But you want to know what it's like? Imagine what it's like to be that person. Look at me. I'm making videos about it and sharing it with you. Start embodying that energy a little bit more. You have the tools. You have the information. You have the ability. All you got to do is give yourself permission to do it. So part two uh, is coming out soon. Make sure to subscribe, uh, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you've got that bell notification click so you don't miss this series. Going totally ham with astral travel and lucid dreaming right now. Um, so thanks a lot, guys. If you ever have a recommendation or anything, do let me know below. I do look at the comments and stuff a lot and it uh, helps me a lot with figuring out what I'm gonna do next. So thanks for being a part of the astral traveling journey. Shout out to a few of you. Um, I don't, actually, I'm not going to mention your specific names because I don't want to make anybody else feel bad or anything. But I figure those of you who this has happened with are probably still watching and haven't clicked out yet because you watched the whole videos. Thanks, by the way. That helps my channel when you do that. I astral traveled with two of you. <laughs> Literally last night, I astral traveled with two of you specifically that are my friends from the comments. I don't know you in real life, but last night we astral traveled together. Was it you? <laughs> okay. Um, thanks a lot, guys. Um, I love you. Love making these videos. And, uh, well, I'll, I'll see you for the next video. Check below um, because I might have part two tagged if you come to this video later. Uh, all right. See ya. <laughs>